you know, just to bring in an important statistic, according to Understanding Houston, only 47% of the kindergarten preparedness level of students tested that they are ready for kindergarten preparedness. So that speaks really volumes about our Houston youth, right? So if we don't even have half of the students prepared to go in, in early childhood education, we are already failing from the beginning. The fundamental problem with getting legislation passed for early education is that the constituent base has to come forth in a collective, cohesive manner in order to make those changes happen. Parents, as well as politicians, need to be collectively in agreement in terms of the policies that are necessary to move early education forward. Over the years, as you continue to immerse yourself in the research, one of the things that you find is that the best a use of your taxpayer dollar is early education. And so if we want kids to not drop out or we want kids to go to college, really our best investment is to do it early on. That starts right away after birth and certainly all the way up through kindergarten. The United States is the only country in the world, in addition to South Sudan and Somalia, but for different reasons that haven't ratify the Children's Rights Convention. One of the articles in the Children's Rights Convention is the access to education. And so I'd like to frame this as you have the right to go to school because this is their right for development. We as adults have human rights, so why not children have their children's rights? I'd like to add a little context of what that means on a local level. Under Mayor Turner's leadership, City of Houston embarked on pursuing a designation for Houston to become the very first child-friendly city in the United States. That's a UNICEF designation, but Mayor Turner was to sign what we call a child-friendly cities manifesto and basically pledging to make Houston a child-friendly community. He joins more than 130 mayors around the world. However, in the United States, he's the first one. Starting from that point, we can then develop what really those rights are for children. I would define educational equity for our youngest citizens as a fair and impartial opportunity and access to high quality early education an environment that's conducive for a child to explore and become aware of its surroundings and how to navigate, as well as the opportunity to learn what other children are learning across the tracks, whereas they are on the cutting edge of things that might be integral to their success in their future, like quantum physics and robotics and AI. Those things are very important in equity for early childhood education. And so all around us here in the state of Texas, we see these inequities in our system in regards to early education, in regards to pre-K. And so sometimes when we're looking at elementary schools, we'll see a Latino elementary school and we say, wow, how come these Latino kids aren't being so successful? But if we look back at what access did they have to high quality pre-K, what access did they have to subsidize high quality childcare, we see in every instance that they didn't have that equality. They didn't have that access that they really needed to have. And so it's the system that's inadequate for the majority of our families in the state of Texas. I think it comes down to fundamentally, we know exactly what needs to be done to have a better future. And it's whether or not we've put the resources in the place to be able to do that. When it comes down to access to quality pre-K and whether or not we're going to devote resources to it and policy and legislative changes, and politicians are looking at what their constituents want right now when it comes to potholes and homelessness and whether or not we get a tax break here or a tax break there, all of those things can be eradicated by devoting our resources to our future. So if we really, really wanted to look at a better world in, in terms of equity for everyone, we would start with the smallest little individuals, smallest citizens who will someday be a part of that constituent base and make sure that they are highly educated. We would devote far more resources. Our state of Texas used to be $5,000 per child in pre-K. Now it's roughly $3,000 per child. We would fundamentally do what we know is the right thing to do so that our future would be bright for every individual.